Mm. Okay. No, no, it should, should be like, okay. So let's... Someone, some impertinent fool calling herself the blind, thought I wouldn't mind if she and her little band of cultists came to Maelstrom and rooted through my collection of trinkets. Okay. I gather they were looking for the Echoneer. A large petrified eyeball excreted by Hermaeus Mora himself. I've had it yeah, since I don't know when. Is... I used it as a paper waste. Acted, so. But it seems Mora had a purpose for the Echoneer all along. So well, much. it was boring. I'm happy to... What do you need? No, no, it's Old relics, new enemies. I have no liking for any of this. Malakath instructed me to find this strange mage and tell her about the staff stolen from the old sworn pit. I have done so. My part in this is done. The staff of many paths, or so it's called. No one seems to know exactly how or when it came to be locked up in the Oathsworn pit. But it must have been there for a long time. The recollection escaped with it when we fought off their attack. Mercenaries? Cultists of some kind. Most of them were wood elves. They came to the Oathsworn pit to recruit new members from the warrior lodges there. Or so they said. When our people refused to join up, they attacked. Basra Grofarin, clan chief of Farin Stronghold, a loyal servant of Malakath. It's not good for orcs to get mixed up in ancient elf cults. We keep our tusks out of their business, they should do the same for us. Thank you for answering my summons, Proxy. I am afraid our respite has reached its end. We saved Apocrypha from Vermina and Periite, but it seems Torvasard has embarked on a new design. Hermaeus Mora has need of you again. Okay, so they have stole some artifacts and we are not sure what's their endgame. Torvasard seeks to return to the Mythos, the heart of Apocrypha. He intends to restore Ethelia, the Daedric prince he once served. He has already opened two glyphics to revive her memory. He cannot be allowed to unlock the final glyphic. Okay, so we are still missing one final glyphic. I thought that uh, New Daedric Prince was freed uh, in the last last episode, episode DLC, but apparently she's not fully freed. Torvasad cannot force his way into the mythos against Mora's will. But Mora is unable to perceive his movements. There may be a way for Torvasad to sidestep Mora's ban and reach the vault of the Glyphic. Here, take the Echoneer. You will need it. A relic forged by Hermaeus Mora, the Echoneer can corporealize distinct foci. That is, it can reveal echoes of past events related to the Forgotten Prince. Choices made ages ago now menace our world. The Echoneer can help us understand them. When you come to a location associated with Prince Athelia, hold forth the Echoneer to draw out and observe any lingering memories. Mm. You may also need to perceive the threads of fate as I do. I have a spell for that. Interesting. Because Hermaeus Mora has foreseen that a restored Prince Athelia threatens the very foundations of reality, endangering Apocrypha, Nern, and all of existence. The one who knows needs mortal aid to avert catastrophe. Hermaeus Mora cannot see Torvasad, but he can sense threads of fate disturbed by Torvasad's actions. The threads are fraying in Grotwood, Reaper's March, and Stonefalls. I will open a portal to each place. Choose one, and we shall go. Okay, so th this is built like a previous... Uh introductory quests that you need to like visit several places and they uh, have a, their own dungeons that are usually pretty pretty cool Hermaeus Mora reached into every mind mortal and immortal and erased all memory of Athelia his work however was not perfect 
a select few sensed that something had been taken from them, and he could not erase his own memory of what he had done. Torvasard calls Athelia the Prince of Paths, the Mistress of the Untraveled Road, the Fate Changer. Okay. Your guess about what that all means is as good as mine, Proxy. Well, it doesn't as mean for good. her fate, I imagine that secret is locked in the final glyphic. Torvasard said he was tormented by half-remembered dreams. A strange thing, as Daedra do not dream the way we mortals do. The sense of something missing drove him to search for answers. That search finally led him to Apocrypha. Torvasard is a clanless Dramora who allies himself with different Daedric princes. When we encountered him in Necrom, he was working with Vermina and Periite to uncover a secret hidden in Apocrypha. Now he recalls that he once served Athelia. So basically, the uh, idea of uh, Dramora playing clanless was sort of thing that was dropped in the Elder Scrolls lore and now the previous DLC kind of explained that well they actually serving a, a Daedric Prince that was locked away in a shoebox or something. Yes, the first held the secret that Hermaeus Mora erased a memory from all of Nern and Oblivion. The second glyphic revealed the memory. There was once a Daedric Prince named Athelia, a Prince Torvasard sir. Yeah, she's her domain is actually interesting because it overlaps the Azura and, and uh, Hermes Mora as well. It lies hidden in a vault in the Mythos, the very heart of Apocrypha. Reaching it against Hermes Mora's will should be impossible, but Torvasad has already done so twice. Mora called him unseen. Somehow, Torvasard eludes his gaze. He has pretty heavy plot armor. <laughs> because you bear the mark of Hermaeus Mora. He has chosen you to serve as champion of fate, his agent in the mortal realm and perhaps beyond. You can act in places where the one who knows cannot directly intervene. As can I. When you signed the contract agreeing to act as fate's mortal agent, Never fear, Hermaeus Mora has no interest in your soul. I signed a similar contract long ago, when Mora realized I could perceive the threads of fate. So basically in a base game, we uh, got our, our soul, soul removed, and in the, in the end of the game we got our soul, soul back. So um, the soul belongs basically to Mola. Molak Paul. So this is interesting because uh, what she implies that Hermes Mora is not interested in our uh, hero soul. But then again, Hermes Mora might see it as more trouble than worth as well. Because because it belongs to uh, Daedric Prince and basically your soul can belong to only one prin uh, Daedric Prince at a time or some, something like that. You had no need of such a gift during our last encounter. And Hermaeus Mora specifically told me not to share it until the time was right. That time, according to Mora, is now upon us. The one who knows can be inscrutable at times. Okay. Okay, so now we can choose the where, where to go. Reaper's much craft wood. Stone Falls. Let, let's start with Stone Falls. I suppose we can we can do this. Okay, now Falasness. I think we visited here already in with one DLC. Follow the threads of fate. So these th things are threads of fate. Okay. It 
paying off. Let the of faith restore your strength. So that, that's that's why we are keeping keeping him back. Dance along the webs. CV. The earthfalls and they yet they proved difficult to deny. Yeah, they kind of in inserted themselves on CV as a, as a guards. So called anti spiritual anchors, Poetia Mephala. And Azura. Uh. This is pretty old because they are referring more of it as rest day. That ancient book stirred up a memory. Use the Echoneer to examine it, Proxy. Okay. How do I use the... So how do I use? Ah, oh, I need to go here. The tribunal's ordinators hold our brethren. We need the skein of secrets to free them. But the skein is lost. We must beseech the Lady of Whispers for help. Then let us adjourn to the secret sanctuary. The circle we stand upon is the door. We need but a single drop of blood to open it. Ah, I see. This ritual circle conceals a gate, activated by a little blood. Let us see where it leads. Nothing. Fate seems to be fighting back. I wonder how much of that is because of you. Cool, my ballast, I think. Talk to fate, Fate's Richard. chosen. How presumptuous a title Hermaeus Mora has bestowed upon you. The Prince of Fate is using you, mortal. Long ago, he and his allies inflicted a terrible wrong on my prince. Now he hopes you can stop me from undoing that damage. How can a mere mortal understand the convolutions of oblivion? Prince Ethelia, the Prince of Paths, Mistress of the Untraveled Road, Fate Changer, the Dark Reflection, the Last Tomorrow, she who saw and wept. Moira, in his jealousy, 
erased her. Hermaeus Mora convinced other Daedric princes to conspire against Ithelia. He played upon their fears of the unknown. None of them understood the gift of choosing what is to be. They all turned against my prince. Revenge? No, that is for my prince to meet out. I am a scion of Ithelia, and my ancient purpose is to restore her to power to undo what the cowardly princes did to her, and the very relics they used against Ithelia will help me find her. My father's skein of secrets. Don't bother looking. It isn't here. It seems my father's alien worshippers locked it away in some vault beneath Westweald long ago. Ah, uh, that's no why matter. we are going there. The skein would help, but I'll find another way to reach my prince. And you believe, Mora? Stand aside, mortal. I will not be swayed from my purpose. A skin of secrets used to defeat Athelia long ago. I cannot help but wonder what became of it. Come, Proxy. Let us speak. A skein of secrets somehow used to defeat Athelia long ago. I cannot help but wonder what became of it. Daedric relics have a way of causing trouble wherever they appear. Even the Echoneer could be dangerous in the wrong hands. Hermaeus Mora requires you to make that decision without his guidance, Proxy. Torvasar disturbed fate in three different locations. The one who knows must have a reason for instructing us to visit each one. Your choice, Proxy. Hermaeus Mora made it clear that we are to be guided by the decisions you make without undue prompting from him or me. But our work is not complete until we discover what Torvasad seeks there. Excellent. In the interest of hastening our investigation of these perturbations, a physical translocation of... Uh, I shall open portals to save us time. Choose one and I shall follow. An alien ruin? Interesting. Do you perceive the threads of fate? The threads mark Torvisard's trail. Follow them. I will search the surroundings for any other hidden signs. For all the green stuff. So we are now at the. Perhaps my luck is changing for the better. Okay, this guy again. Why, if it isn't my sister Everly's friend! Good to see you! Ever I'm Everly's dealing brother. with a real mystery. Almost as convoluted as that waking flame affair. Yeah, that was good. I'm of... tracking a group of troublemakers called the Recollection. I don't suppose you're after them too? Peragon, what are you doing here? I guess that business with the Waking Flame Cult and Emperor Leovic's Elder Council brought me out of retirement. When the recollection showed up, people started disappearing. So, I put down my quill and picked up my daggers again. I hope Evely isn't here. My little sister is off on her own adventures. Honestly, I can't keep track of her comings and goings. I think we can blame that on you, friend. Your example inspired her to go find situations in need of a wandering adventurer. We, have, we found he, her from Orochimaru, so she, she can do that by herself. 
They're an elusive lot. Something between a secret society, a mercenary company, and a cult. I caught wind of people disappearing, and I think they're involved. If you're not after the recollection, why are you here? Dangerous quarry. But you look like you know what you're doing. It's strange that my pursuit of the recollection and your hunt for Torvasad led us both to these old ruins. That does give me an idea, though. Fate. I propose we work together. There are more recollection here than I care to tangle with by myself. But maybe we can get some answers together. We can figure out why they're interested in the Reliquary of Stars, why we look for your elusive Dramora. I overheard a recollection mage named Endegore mention a hidden shrine in the ruins. Something about a waterfall in the Flesh Gardens. Not the most pleasant appellation, but maybe we should start there. It's called the Reliquary of Stars, an old alien archive of some kind. The major skilled researchers here say Magicka courses through the very walls. They're too busy with their studies to notice Recollection Scouts sneaking into the Reliquary. It seems to be a revival of an ancient alien cult, or some kind of alien inspired military order, perhaps. There are a lot of Wood Elves in their ranks, I'm sorry to say. It's strange. I never even heard of them until a few months ago. Yeah, they kind of remembered something. <laughs> I heard rumors about recollection groups poking around alien ruins back in Westweald, and people started disappearing around the same time, including a few I happened to know. I can't say if they were abducted or recruited. It's okay. Maybe the cultist brain was in Bosmers or something. Thanks for auto run, but I don't know. I have a free hand now. <laughs> Cracked acorns. I don't like the look of these statues. What's your step in here, friend? Torvasad warned us we'd have company. Let's take a picture, okay. Okay, so you want to die. Torvasad warned us you'd be coming. Though the relic he sought was near, he left me to deal with you. Watch your step. Out of practice. What's yeah. that on the floor? He dropped something. Orders. Everyone always writes their or orders down. Seems how it's really relic is no longer here. Okay, so these are relics of the of the stations, which means the three good quote good data.
Okay, six walking ways. This is this is what came to my mind. Six walking ways to godhood. So if they are, Torvasar is trying to get bring Ithelia back. He needs to walk six walking ways. And the Ithelia is is her domain is paths, not uh, walk walks. So maybe the less traveled six walking ways to Godhood, or there's new walking ways to Godhood. Well, that's a theory at least. So I, I kind of uh, try to explain the Elder Scrolls lore um, in, in, in the Looks depth. Looks like we found the recollection, well, or some of it. I didn't know Endegor well, but what I knew of him, I didn't like. <laughs> A bigoted radical at best. I'm surprised he would work with any non bolsmer at all. What's in that letter? May I see? Huh. That settles the question of whether Torvasad and the Recollection are working together. It was no coincidence that we met here today, friend. According to the letter, they haven't found it yet, or even any leads to its whereabouts. If they had, Endegor would be off with Torvasad, looking somewhere else by now. I wonder what happened to the lamp. Something unusual. Let me see... Ah! Over by the altar! Is that what you're looking for? Cave to the north. The lamp should be safe there once we apply the appropriate spill. Was that a memory from the Marie Gera? Never mind that. Who's this high elf? I am Laramel, little wood elf. I assume from what we saw in that memory that Torvasar did not find what he was looking for. Well, the Peragon is small, even the wood elf standard. A strange vision. They were worried about the Aliads, but there haven't been Aliads here in centuries upon centuries. Speaking of strange, it looks like we've gained a new companion. I assume you know that, High Elf. I see. Well, since it looks like the Recollection is working for him, I guess I'm looking for Torvasad now, too. There are plenty of Recollections skulking about in Westweald. I'll meet you there if you run short of other leads. Nature's luck to you too, friend. I have a feeling our paths will cross again. Let us speak, Proxy. Curious. There was a relic of Azura here. A lamp. No doubt the mages who removed it feared this place would be sacked by the Alessians. A memory preserved since the early First Era. I wonder what Torvasad wants with the lamp. We must determine what awaits us at the final site. Twice now the threads of fate have led us to a Daedric Prince's shrine. I imagine we will find a third such shrine there. The question is whether Torvasart has found another relic or not. Good. Allow me to create another portal to speed our journey. It appears we are in a race against Torvasart, and so far he is winning. Armor. They have a slightly different portal portals in this DLC. Welcome to the gas You should be able to perceive the threads of fate here. Follow them, Proxy. The Faith Walker arrives just as Hermora foretold. So, Sencherath. And these weren't in the in original game, so 
his first sensor yeah, in a basic basic area. Audrey Jad saw you are coming in the tides. Hermora wished this one to greet you here. So it is that our fates cross paths. What is it you seek, Fate Walker? Audrey Jad has seen no Dremora, but that does not mean your quarry has not been here. There is change in the air. A change that began long ago. Hmm. Old Rejad knows you should seek the blessing of the children ever mourned. Visit the nearby shrines of beloved John and Jod. Pay your respects. In days of old, we Khajiit would pray to the twins to bless our paths with moonlight and sugar. Perhaps it will be so again. The shrines are here in this courtyard. Old Rejad can tell. You have a long journey ahead of you, Fate Walker. You will need the blessings of the two moons. Return after you have paid your respects. This place is just a stop along your path, Fate Walker. What you ultimately seek is not here. But do not despair. Old Rejad thinks you had to come here. And his heart tells him your journey will take you to strange and distant places indeed. You stand in the Temple of the Two Moons Path. Long ago, Dune was a kingdom guided by moon priests and scholars. To this day, new mains come here to complete their journey with the Moon Hallowed and take up their sacred duties. They are followers of Molag. <laughs> There was a time when Rejad would have driven them away from this place. Now, old Rejad knows it is for another to cleanse the temple. He would not be displeased if you punished a few today. Okay, so. Ying and Yang, basically. He instructed the Richard. Yeah, this this made uh, this pretty. The moon spirits favor you, Fate Walker. Old Richard sees your path clearly now. So, so uh, Elder Scrolls Online is pretty act achievable. I mean, I mean, it's uh, like you c you can play this game pretty easily. Not too complicated. Mm. From the yes. Service. Though the twins remain silent, their light shines upon the path. For those who know how to see it. Audrejad understands now why the Tide Watcher told him to meet you here. You seek an unraveling fate, yes? This one now realizes that means examining an event from long ago. Hermora wishes you to see a memory trapped in the stone of this place. Yet, how could we do such a thing, old Rijad wonders? A thing blessed by the Tide Watcher himself. Hmm. Old Rijad was never one to deal in relics of any origin. Still, if that is its purpose, then use your relic here. Let us see what it shows you, Fate Walker. Rijad is an expert concerning those days. Strife consumed all of elsewhere when the cult of Riddlethar spread like a storm across the sands. 
One could say, Boethred died in that time. The riddle Thar kicked sand over old beliefs. Manikaji turned away from Boethra. The warrior of the East and West was abandoned. Only at Dokrin Temple was her worship preserved, though the monks there fell too in time. The faith you follow was knitted there. Odrejad sees it now. Hermora wished you to relive that old memory, so this one could tell you of Boethra. Your quarry's path leads to Dokrin. Now, so does yours. Rejad will mark the place on your map. Dokrin Temple. Dranok Prey. Skin issues. <laughs> yeah, okay. As I expected, our paths have once more come together. Enter the portal proxy. It seems our investigations have led to the same place. Use the portal to enter the hidden shrine. We must determine what interest Torvasad has here. How he expects a Boethia shrine to lead him back to Apocrypha and the final glyphic. Well, if Italia was banished or put in the shoebox, then Boethia must have been part of that. It's, it's in her dom domain, basically. Monkey. Seek out a shrine to Boethia. Wait, up above, Torvasad is here. Ah, Mora's champions. I expected to run into you eventually. Boethia's blade, Abolisher, is mine now. The first of the three relics I require is in my hand. Soon, Prince Ethelia will be restored. I hope you are there to witness her glory. A relic of Boethia? One moment, Proxy. We should speak. As I thought. This is about ancient relics. Torvasad believes they can lead him to Athelia, the forgotten prince. But I do not yet see how he hopes to make use of them. A good question. I find it interesting that Torvasad was not satisfied with only one relic. He wanted to recover three. A blade associated with Boethia. A lamp from a shrine of Azura, and a skein created by Mafala. Hmm. I wonder. These princes are known as the Good Daedra in Dunma tradition. Long ago, they often allied with each other to guide and protect the people of Morrowin. I doubt that is a coincidence. What do the good, good Daedra have to do with Torvasar's Forgotten Prince? I am not sure. It might prove useful to consult with someone better versed in ancient Dark Elf religion than I am. Fortunately, I believe I know just the Elf. Our dear friend Gadain. Come, uh. Proxy. I shall open a portal to Vardenfell. Gadain. Fate Sons of Boethra. The Baths of Fate. Bill against you, okay. Okay, and, and Vardenfell is nobody's part of the back package of the basic package of the game. So that's why they can actually use the DLC areas for the for the for the quest. Laramil, you returned. But I know that look. What's wrong? Torvasad once more moves against Apocrypha. He seeks to restore the Forgotten Prince. I'll let our friend explain. 
I finally resolved to see the world beyond Necrom. With some assistance from Laramil, of course. Then Hermaeus Mora called her away again. I'm glad to see you're still helping her, friend. Oh, he, his feet on Did I hear correctly? Torvasart has returned? Uh, also, he didn't get pretty far from Necrom because that's just... He, he basically took a boat trip to the Azuras coast now. What I know about Daedric princes and relics, I learned at Laramil's side. If she doesn't know what it means, I can't add much more. The good Daedra haven't been widely worshipped in Morrowind for ages. How do you think they're involved? Maybe. <laughs> hmm. I've never heard any such story, but Holomeon Monastery is just north of here. The monks there preserve the old Velothi traditions. If we're dealing with ancient myths about the good Daedra, they might be able to Do we to get help. into the Holomeon Monastery? Yes, that was actually one location lost, or it was there, but you couldn't enter uh, during the uh, Morrowind DLC. Hirveäkeli ulkona. After a sauna. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are going to play After a Sauna X-Files game from the 1998, but, but yeah, going to go sauna soon. But this is in the end, so this small quest here is in the end. But I'm, I'm really go happy on ahead. that we can get to the I just need a moment shortly. to uh, confer with Laramil. Okay. We'll meet you at Holomeon shortly. We may need to convince the monks that we come in good faith. They rarely welcome visitors who don't share their beliefs. Yeah, also they are... Do they talk something? Okay. Okay, <laughs> just staring at each other. It's sealed. Like this when I, was on I my suppose own. we could knock. We have no time for this. I shall open a portal. Yeah, no that... need for that. <laughs> the Golden Eye foretold your coming. Interesting. Welcome. The Abbot. Forgive our intrusion and listen to what our friend has to say. Greetings, champion. The Golden Eye, Hermaeus Mora himself, spoke to me in a dream. He told me you were coming here. I am Andor Inderil. It is my honor to serve as abbot and historian of this monastery. Only this once, which is why I thought it best to listen. So long as you promise not to harm any monks nor remove any tomes without permission, you may explore the monastery freely. What exactly do you seek here? Looking into relics of Asura body and Mephala, blade, lamp, and skin. I know of a few blades sacred to Boethia. But I am unfamiliar with lamps or skeins. They are not among the relics commonly associated with our ancestral spirits. However, there are more secrets preserved here than any one scholar could ever uncover. Yep, that's, that's true, actually. This was one of the key locations in Moro uh, Elder Scrolls III, Morrowind. The Holomayan Library, of course. We have many volumes found nowhere else. Follow me, champion. We keep the main entrance sealed, since the more stringent ordinators consider our brethren to be heretics. I assure you, they are not. At least for now. A good thing they don't need to animate the door opening. Ah, I just sent your friends to the library. It's down the stairs to your right. Your companions went on ahead to the library. Our collection preserves many strange and ancient tomes. Perhaps one of them will serve to guide you along your way. You will find it just down the eastern stairs. Okay, let's... Okay, so they have actually... Claws here. Like, like in Elder Scrolls 3. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Mephala Azura and Boethia. <laughs> Not heretical at all. And they burn the Dunmer corpses to ash. Which is pretty hard because Dunmer corpses are actually... They are pretty much <laughs> fireproof. But this is cool. Look, the Echoneer has something to show us. 
fate has led us true again. Okay, so this is uh, elaborating the uh, relationship between ancient, ancient uh, Velothi and Blethia. Vanquishing of Trini Mark. Let's read everything. Valid Warden fell, <laughs> which is homage to the. Okay, he's. Cadden is reading the mean old, old large book at the Children's Tale. Okay, but investigator Valid Warden fell. We already met the, who, who, the person who is writing the investigator Valid novels. Uh, old retired um, uh, Predonian knight, a lady. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, that, but they are mostly born, so yeah. Yet we must leave something behind in the event that we fail. Diandra Hellas. The need what again may arise some long tomorrow from now. Pergamora will not allow that to happen. But I agree. We should leave instructions here for those who come after. That book? It is the very one those three ancient priests were handling in the memory. Examine it, Proxy. We have a sacred command. I know record the final testament. Lady of Whispers calls me, sir, and to myself, in her service. Gladly I make the gift, Dark Queen. Not alone in my sacrifice as a priest of Azura and Boetia. We must travel to Sharnath in with both secrets. Get to Hermas Mora Realm, I thought I there. And the upper crew for. There's no place in Nern of the priest of past does not be tried. No choice she cannot undo. Oh, okay, interesting. Those devout priests offered themselves so their princes could meet in secret. We must find the gate they used. It could be the access to Apocrypha Torvasad is seeking. So basically, we are finding about the uh, Torvasad said the relics would help him find a thief. Against. He must believe they will lead Ethelia. him to a gate to Apocrypha or the final glyphic in the mythos. We need to find the gate first, but I have no idea where the shrine of inevitable secrets lies. The course of fate is never that simple. Many futures branch from each choice we make. If we know too much, we risk altering our choices and changing the outcome. Therefore, Mora tells us only what he must. As fate's chosen, you will lead the way. We are in a monastery dedicated to ancient knowledge. There must be a book or scholar here that can point the way. There's lots of Heretical text here. So this is basically along the line. Also, who places places red meat in the cabinet? So this is made in along the line of the monastery in in Elder Scrolls Three. three. I, I suppose people like wanted this place to be in the game, so developers kind of took a note. Curious. I sense a powerful arcane aura surrounding you. You carry something rarely seen on this mortal plane. It reeks of the black arts of oblivion. <laughs> Wondrous. May I see it? Fascinating. 
a relic crafted by the Golden Eye himself. Few mortals have ever laid eyes on such a thing. I can see you have been chosen by Hermaeus Mora for something special. A rare honor indeed. Worship implies the subject of one's devotion desires adulation. Hermaeus Mora is beyond such vanities. I give him my respect, not my prayers. If one wishes to uncover the secrets of the plains, it is merely prudent. Ah, the fabled shrine of Anud Nabia. Some say the disaster occurred after the birth of the tribunal, but I think it happened in the Merethic era. If it still stands, it would be along the shore to the north. Perhaps your relic can help you locate it. Oh, that, that, that would be like nice. Ah. You must be the guest Abbot Andor told us to expect. If there is anything you need, you simply have to ask. So he's he's versing being Mevala here. Just re paying respect to the ancestor spirit, nothing heretical here. In there is Well met, Sarah. We receive so few visitors here at Holomeon. Anyway, this was a really cool place to visit. I overheard your conversation, Proxy. Anud Nabia is just to the north of here. Gadain and I will meet you there. Anud Nabia is a place with a bad reputation, friend. Old Daedric ruins, half drowned in the inner sea. It's hard not to see it as something of an ill omen if your path leads there. Oh, Proxy, just in time. Use the Echoneer and see if some lingering memory is able to be Imprints and paths caused the sea to swallow this ancient city. Hermona's temple now lies beneath the waves. Then that is where we must go. Mephala, Lady of Whispers, take this mortal shell. Moethea, I call upon you. Dark warrior, let me bear you to the conclave of princes. They are kind of circumventing the Cold Harbor Compact. This way. The priest allow their princes to possess them and wade it into the water. Ha! Huh. I know where to find the shrine. Yeah, it's under. Obviously, Anud Nabia's lost shrine sunk into the sea ages ago. A fitting end for a place dedicated to the master of the tides of fate. But that... A submerged shrine calls for a powerful spell. I shall weave an arcane shield that will allow us to breathe and walk upon the seafloor. Once those ancient priests were possessed, they must have done the same. Enter the sea when you are ready. Can we get to the under... under water? Let's see. This should be interesting. Uh, I like to call... Contact, contact start. Ah! It's a bit, bit different uh, shaders and bubble around us. That's a shield bubble they are using, developers. Oh. Uh, uh, controls are slightly more luggish, sluggish. <laughs> Critters on the... Okay, that's interesting. Swimming. Strolling nice. along the seabed like it was a street in Necron. Stay alert and move straight ahead, both of you. And watch out for any large predatory sea life. Point taken. 
Well, only one who c could actually breathe is my companion star personality who left, was left be behind to do something. Up ahead, I think I see the shrine. Ah, so <laughs> just run into bigger thing. This is it. After you, Proxy. Use the portal. Like I said, the developers have usually put some effort in this introductory quest. Okay, that took some toll from her. serving a seeker. The seekers were actually pretty bad customers in the uh, Necrom DLC. Feels like a deep bump from the HP love trap. Always room for improvement. And Dormer Sword. Boethius Blade led me to this portal. The path to the mythos. Apocrypha's heart. Only those bearing the essence of Azura, Boethia, or Mafala can access this portal. The gate recognizes Boethia's blade. Now I can return to the mythos and find my prince at last. Chosen of fate, hold. We must speak. Okay, little help here, please. Tovesar proves surprisingly resourceful. I created this gate to admit none but the mortal vessels of my allies to Apocrypha. Yet the relic of Boethia he carries deceived my defenses. Ah, clever ploy, Tovesar. Has breached the mythos, the Again. heart of my realm. Twice before he found his way to Oblivion, holding part of the secret he seeks. Only one part remains sealed. You must stop him from reaching the glyphic of shattered reflections. I created this gate, and I command it still. Behold, you are the chosen of fate. This task is appointed to you, not by me, but by the demands of causality and consequence. If I 
Try to shut door the shot. I will fail. You, however, always have a chance. That is the nature of mortals. So that's that's basically now, the basic idea go. of the Elder Scrolls. Back to the Mesos. Here we go. Remember an Torvasoid call. Oh no. <laughs> When you know the mechanics, that's that's easy. And Torvasor probably escaped again. Yeah, these adventures are fi fine, but they are terribly glyphic and the final secret. I must I mean we have been hearing this guy clothing Fyria. like a couple DLCs now. Why should I forget how I took this mortal shell and tracked Athelia with my skein? Azura and I did our part with these vessels of flesh. And the land. And the Balashar. Listen, my fellow princes. The Lord of Fate is right. Imprison Athelia in your mythos, Mora. Then erase all memory of her existence. 
Imprisoned by cowards. Abandoned by betrayers. But I remember. And I know how to free my prince. I like how he opens the portal by stabbing the air with the, with the sword. But the portal is open. It's a spire. Sealed away. Alone for millennia. Oh, no. I will free my prince and restore her glory. Torvasad opened the prison. Okay, that's the third cliff. So we are definitely going to see the new Elder a new Dedrick Prince in Elder Scrolls. Empty. After all, oblivion and none for ages. Tormented by a question I could not even frame. This is my answer! I did not forget my friends! Boo! Okay, Torvasar is angry. I do not understand. Maybe Where she escaped. is Prince Ethelia? If she escaped, why did she not contact me? Uh, you! Is this some new trick of the Lord of Fate? No, this is no trick. Do you see? Prince Ethelia has escaped. She freed herself from this prison, or was freed by some hand other than mine. Perhaps the simple act of remembering restored her power, dissolved her bonds. I uh, do not know. Okay, plot is thickening. Prince Athelia is the mistress of the untraveled road. She could be anywhere. Perhaps she will be drawn to places or things she knew before her craven foes locked her away. Yes, that must be right. And I know what I must do. Farewell, mortal. I still have a task to do. I need to find my prince. Help her. Restore her to the power that is hers by right. And there are other scions out there. I remember them, too, now. Mortal. Fate's chosen. I expect our paths will cross again. A fate forged the moment Torvasad opened the first Glyphic and began to remember. Return. To the Mythos Vault, mortal, we must speak. Yeah, he took the sword with him. Looked like a cool sword. Okay, so she broke away for, from her prison. That's basically it. Or somebody else. Oh, hello. I am called the Master of the Tides of Fate. I perceive everything that may come to pass. Yet, I cannot select the outcomes I prefer. Choice and chance determine which possibility actually occurs. Such as this one, Ethelia, is free. I did not lie, chosen of fate, nor was I mistaken. I told you what you needed to know to avert catastrophe, and catastrophe has been averted. For now, the outcome I foresaw will still come to pass. It is only a matter of time. This spire was never Ethelia's prison. Being forgotten was. The moment Torfasan finally remembered his prince, its power to hold Ethelia began to wane. Now, 
New paths form before us. Some lead to survival. Others, destruction. A question we all must ponder. Ethelia and her Ilgar, unseen. Okay. I cannot perceive their actions, nor can all I share them. what I surmise, lest I unduly affect the course of events. Take counsel with Lirimir the Wise, and wait for a new path to open. A couple days. This is all quite beyond me. Prince Athelia has escaped her prison, yet reality persists. And Torvasad understood events no better than we do. As I have seen time and time again, the machinations of oblivion are far beyond mortal comprehension. So I heard. And he did not send us to pursue Torvasad. Yep, because Torvasad doesn't It appears know that the next doing. step we take must be our choice. Hmm. We should return to learn, regroup, and follow the advice of the one who knows. Wait for a path to open before us. That fact has not escaped me, Proxy. Torvasad spoke of restoring his lost realm. Miramore, he called it. Yep. And he thought that Athelia would return to places that were familiar to her. Let us return to Grotwood and confer with your friend Baragon. The reason why Data Experience would return to her realm is that she's most strongest in, in, in that location. Strongest there, so yeah, that would be like logical lo pl place to reckon. But uh, yeah, we, ne we now we know uh, data experiences that are on her shit list, which are the most in in interesting uh, data experiences of all of them. I am relieved to observe the perpetuation of the macrocosm. <laughs> Our reality has not unraveled yet. For, for now, Mirror yes. From things Torvasad said, I expect we will find him in West Weald. I shall confer with Baragon about the area and alert you when you are needed. Thanks to you, even though Athelia is free, we still have a chance to preserve our world. Prince Athelia, the Forgotten Prince. The prince that Hermaeus Mora so feared that he imprisoned her and erased her from existence. Now she is free and Torvasad searches for her. I suspect we will see signs of their activity before too long. First, I must return Gadain to Necron. He must watch over Morrowind in case I am wrong about Torvasad's next move. Then I shall go to West Weald, consult with Baragon, wait. Observe. Eventually, Athelia's presence will disturb the threads of fate. Of course, Proxy. You are fate's chosen. Any hope we have of averting disaster rests with you. I am only here to aid you in these efforts. For now, go on with your usual activities. We shall need your strength and courage soon enough. I suppose... Okay, so that's that's the end of the. By the way, so this is After the end, our of, end visit of the. After the reliquary of stars, the uh, recollection cleared quest. out. I did come across one interesting clue, however. They're particularly interested in ruins in Westweald, which is ironic since I live in Skingrad. I'm not sure I like all this sudden interest in the place I call home. I'll provide Laramil with whatever information she requires. Then I need to return to Skingrad to figure out the connection.
Between an alien cult and that Dramora Torvasad, they seem to be strange bedfellows indeed. Anyway, if you and Laramil find yourselves in Skingrad, look me up. If this plays out the way I expect, I may need an ally like you. So basically, aliens could have worshipped Idella. That's that's that totally possible thing. But anyway, that concludes our broadcast today. And what we are going to do uh, in uh, uh, after sauna games, we are going to play X Files Adventure Game.